An attack on Parliament, an attack on police. At 2.45 this afternoon, gunshots were heard outside the House of Commons while MPs were inside. Moments before, a scene of chaos and carnage. This vehicle crashed into the railings. As police descended, a man with a knife was seen to run into the grounds of the Palace of Westminster. It soon became clear a police officer had been stabbed. Witnesses say the assailant was then shot as he approached a second officer. This picture, taken in New Palace Yard, shows paramedics tending to the injured after several minutes of commotion. I heard what I thought were a couple of no noises, which I, I don't know what they were. And then I looked around, I saw the crash, the car went over the cycle lane and into the parliamentary railings. And then I was able to see a little bit more, there was a, a cyclist laying, I think it was a cyclist laying down on the pavement. But horrifying details are emerging of the minutes before that. The car that was en route to Parliament seemingly mowed down people on Westminster Bridge. Oh, it, it, it's, it's about three of them. You can hear this eyewitness calling an ambulance, reporting around three people have been ploughed into. On this mobile phone footage, with Parliament in the background, people run to help those who've been injured. We now know one woman died. Others have what have been described by doctors as catastrophic injuries. This man told Five News he believes children are among the casualties. I see a car a scratch um, uh, three children of uh, her high school. Um, so car hit three yeah, children? Yes. Um, uh, we listen uh, just after that uh, to a shot fire. By the police? Uh, yes, I think. Uh, and the uh, back of, um, of this, uh, to uh, people uh, was uh, cut with a knife. As violence raged outside, the House of Commons went into lockdown. Order! Order. The I am now going to suspend the sitting of the House. This House is now suspended, but please wait here. As Downing Street confirmed the Prime Minister had been ushered away, MPs unable to leave the building were soon given an update. The alleged assailant uh, was uh, shot by armed police. Um, a, an air ambulance is currently attending the scene to remove the casualties. There are also reports of further violent incidents in the vicinity of the Palace of Westminster, but I hope colleagues on all sides will appreciate that it will be wrong of me here to go into further details. A bloody and audacious incident at the heart of Westminster, at one of the most heavily guarded places in Britain. The Metropolitan Police says they're treating this as a terrorist attack until they know otherwise. One MP has tonight tweeted, democracy will not be intimidated by terror. Julian Drucker, Five News.